ब्राह्मण सम्यग्राहयत्वा सूर्यवर्चस्वे भवते सूर्याग्रहे महानद्याम प्रतिमा संदिरो वाजप्वा सिद्धमंत्रो भवते महाविग्नात प्रमुच्चते महादोषात प्रमुच्चते महापापात प्रमुच्चते ससर्वविद्धवते ससर्वविद्धवते ये एवं वेदा इत्युपनिषदे पुम भद्रम करने भिष्णुनयाम देवाह भद्रम बश्चे माक्ष भर्त्यजत्राह स्तिरेरंगे एस्तुष्टवागुं सस्तनुभिहि यशे मदेवहितम् यदायुहुं पुम सस्तिन इंद्रो ओवृद्धश्रवाह स्वस्तिन फूषा विश्वेदाह स्वस्तिन स्तारक्षो अरिष्टनेमिहि स्वस्तिनो ब्रह्मस्पदर्धधातु पुम शांधिशांधिशांधिहि हरि हि ओम श्री घनपति अतर्वशीर शम्संपूर्णम् ओम वानके जय They are a reflection of our values of unity, inclusivity, and community spirit. Let us come together with open hearts and minds, seeking the blessings of Lord Ganesha. As we have our most beautiful and sacred Yagya Shala just outside, where Puja and Havan Yagya are being done every single day. The atmosphere and aura in the Yagya Shala will definitely transform your lives and make you spiritually inclined to God while striving for a future filled with wisdom, prosperity, and harmony. At this time, I will ask Mataji Gayatri, who is the mother of Varunji, to please come forward and render us one budget as we get set to steady our minds and souls to listen to our Vyasji for tonight. Over to Mataji Gayatri. Please give her a round of applause. Ganapati Namah Ganapati Namah Ganapati Namah Ganapati Ganapati
submitted as per Acharya's request. I'll ask Vaishalaji to please come forward and render her service. Please welcome Vaishalaji. <laughs> Bye. 
give Vaishalaji another round of applause. Thank you for that beautiful bhajan. Devotees, before we get into tonight's katha, we'll take one final bhajan. I'll ask Mataji Sati from the Bhuvaneshwar Mandir to please run us one bhajan.
Bodhi Sati for that beautiful bhajan. Just a quick announcement, the Bodhis at the back, please feel, feel free to come sit in front as there's no space at the back. Once again, please feel free to come sit in front. At this time, I ask of you all to please situate your thoughts, minds and bodies to listen to the beautiful katha that will be presented tonight. It is a great privilege that I ask Jaspal to please come forward as he will introduce our Vyasthi for tonight, Acharya Arun Gosaiji. Please welcome Jaspal. Pranam devotees, Jai Shri Ganesh. Grace of Divine Durga Devasthanam, welcome you to our annual Shri Ganesh Ratsam, a celebration organized with reverence and devotion. As you gather to honor Shri Ganesh, the remover of obstacles, and the embodiment of wisdom and prosperity, we are united in a sheer reverence for his divine qualities. Through this elaborate celebration, we are invited to embrace his blessings, seek his guidance, and foster a spirit of harmony and enlightenment in our lives. Today, I have the honor and privilege to introduce Acharyaji Arun Gosai. Acharya Arun Gosai was born in Georgetown, Guyana, and raised in Queens, New York. Acharyaji is a son of Acharya Leela Gosaiji and Sri Prakash Gosai, a household name and legend for his dedication to spreading the wisdom of the Ramayana to the West Indies community. Please give a round of applause. After graduating with his finance degree from Stony Brook University, Acharyaji worked as an accounting manager in New York City for three years. It was in 2011 that he felt a pressing inner call to study Vedanta. Inspired by the philosophical teachings offered by Chinmaya Mission, that same year, Acharyaji Arun Gosai joined the mission's two-year residential Vedanta course in India and the Sandipani Sadhanalaya Ashram in Mumbai. Under the tutelage of Pujya Guruji Swami Tejo Mayananda and resident course Acharyas Swami Advayananda and Swami Sharadananda, he studied Sanskrit and Vedanta, the science of the higher self, through 96 different sects of Hinduism, including 10 Upanishads, the Srimad Bhagavad Gita, the Srimad Bhagavatam, the Ram Charitamanas, and was bestowed the title of Acharya by the Chinmaya Mission after completing the course where he was thereafter posted as a spiritual head of the Chinmaya Mission in New York. The first Guyanese to head a Chinmaya Mission. Please give him a round of applause. Acharya Ji is a spiritual leader of Bhuvaneshwar Mandir and works closely with the youth from all walks of life as he aims to impart the rich teachings of Vedanta, the science of the higher self to all. So with that said, let us come together in the spirit of devotion, celebrating the eternal greatness of Sri Ganapati with none other than Acharyaji Arun Gosai. Please give him a round of applause. Can someone give a mic to 
Chachi Gaitri, please? Ati Mona, can you give your mic to Chachi Gaitri? Om Ganga Patahe Namaha supplicate our mind, soul, and body to Lord Ganesha, the remover of all obstacles, impediments, and difficulties. Thank you, O Lord, for making today possible. and sisters and for that Ganadi say that all the beings of the world serve him Kapitta Jambu Palasaru Bakshanam and he partakes in the fruits of this life can you repeat after me everyone Dharma Artha Kam and Moksha when we would have found these fruits in our life my dear brothers and sisters Lord Ganesha would smile with us what is Dharma strict adherence to one's duty in life and what is the parama dharma of all of us finding that lord ganesh within finding that peace within that we're looking for in this world then say the word artha everybody artha matlab kya hai artha means having enough what comforts in life to pray a person who doesn't have food on the table my dear brothers and sisters in the world that we live in so many are living in such conditions that we pray for them on such a night. While we enjoy abundance enough to come to a place like this in such large numbers tonight, once again, in the Arya spiritual grounds, many people do not have the means to do so. Today we pray for the Artha, for the wealth of their lives to increase. But more so spiritual wealth, my dear brothers and sisters. May they have peace of mind. Dharma, Artha, say the word Kama, everybody. 
Karma means the ability to be selfless in this world. Selfless desire. I think in our lives we have too much selfish desires. A laundry list of them. But when we can have selfless desires, my dear friends, and not selfish, we will then be able to, my dear brothers and sisters, find that Ganapati. Our brother Shekhar Ji, I call him the Mahaswami, Tapasvi Shekhar Ji. You know why? He's such a humble individual, but yet with his team putting all of this together, sleeping in this same ground, not leaving for 11 days. This is what you call Tapasvi. Give my brother a round of applause. And we must also acknowledge his mother, Mataji. Give Mata a round of applause. Everyone. So dharma artha kama. Kama means, my dear brothers and sisters, selfless desires in life. Ask yourself the question today. Are your desires selfless enough to get the grace of Ganapati? Dharma artha kama or moksha. Say moksha for me. I don't want you to write these down. I see many of the youth on the floor, they, they have their pens and their phones, and I know they're not texting, but they're taking notes. And if you too can take these notes, dharma, adherence to duty, karma, the ability to do selfless work, artha, the ability to be rich with peace of mind, moksha is not far away. And what is the Sanskrit etymology of the word moksha? Can anybody tell me? Moha kshaya. Say the word moha, everybody. And say the word kshaya. Mohakshaya, say it. Mohakshaya Moha means the destruction of moha, the destruction of the delusion that I think that I'm just this limited body, limited mind, but I am that power within that I'm looking for, that peace that passes all understanding, that bliss that I'm looking for, known as Ganesha. So dharma, artha, kam, or moksha, we have to achieve this in this life, and Ganapati will smile. Uma Sutam Shoka Everyone Please take away the shok, the difficulties from my mind, O oh Lord Ganesha. You are the wonderful son of Parvati. Namami Vigneshwar Everyone. That wonderful Lord Ganesha, we pray that he blesses us with divine satisfaction, powers to remove the challenges of not only our lives, but the lives of others. And if we can do so, Lord Ganesha will remove our difficulties in this life. Lambo dada gananatha Lambo dada Lambo Vigneshwara, 
tonight and we simply look at the wonderful Lord's blessings in our life and the biggest blessing we have tonight and forever is the feet of our Lord the other day someone came up to me and said Acharya I'm going through such tough times where can I turn to what can I do in order to find reprieve in my life that is full of downtrodden that is full of sorrow that is full of all sorts of negative things that happen to me on a daily basis and I, all I told him was, simply go to the feet of Lord Ganesha. The feet symbolize the support in our life that we need. Anatomically speaking, when we bow to mother's feet, and you can take these notes down as well. When we bow to our parents' feet, when we bow to the Lord's feet, anatomically speaking, the feet are the support of the body. And without the feet, we go nowhere, my dear brothers and sisters. Isn't that true? Without mother, without guru, without father, and without my dear brothers and sisters, Ganapati, we go nowhere in life. I'd like to acknowledge my own mother, Sri Mati Acharya Leela Gosaiji, who is with us today. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> and all of the mothers who look after us and care for us, we pray for all of them. For Mother Parvati is not far from the one who loves Ma. And in this beautiful song, Nishadin Namo Ganapati Charan, Ganapati Charan Jagat Dukha Haran. The wonderful Ganapati, when we love the gurus and mother and father and all of the people in our life who have allowed us to find peace, that wonderful Ganapati will remove the challenges, therefore. Santapa Sabha Manake Hare Mangal Sada Ganapati Kare. Each day I meditate with my mind to Lord to remove all of the obstacles and difficulties and give us the strength to do so. And when we are an agent for Ganesha, great things will begin to happen in our lives. Thank you. 
Oh, <laughs> 
One must understand what true devotion is in life. All of us have this body and all of us pamper this body on a daily basis. The body is just earth, water, fire, air and space. We all have a mind, my dear friends, that is full of thoughts and Ganapati is the governor of all thoughts. The intellect is what Ganapati specializes in and the combination of these two, my dear friends, is what we call the soul. Many people ask the question, Acharya Ji, what is my soul? And the soul is simply your mind and intellect that is embodied in a human body. And once this mind and intellect is in this body, my dear brothers and sisters, the mind sometimes begins to give us trouble. Tonight we analyze Lord Ganesha, not as a murti per se, while he's so beautiful and cute to look at. Doesn't Lord Ganesha look so beautiful today? His little chubby personality. Who wouldn't fall in love with Bhagavan Ganapati? As a matter of fact, in the Shiva Mahapurana, in the Rudra Samhita, in the Kumara Kanda, chapter 18, we see a beautiful description of him before we get into the wonderful aspect of the phenomenon of Ganesha. Please repeat after me. Subhagaha, everybody. Subhagaha. Subhagaha. Taraha, everybody. Are you take your mics. Sundarataraha. Gajavaktra. Gajavaktra. Gajavaktra, everybody. Gajavaktra. Suraktaha. Suraktaha. Prasanna Vadana. Prasanna Vadana. Supramaya. Supramaya. Lalita Kritahi. Lalita Kritahi. These are wonderful descriptions of this beautiful form that you see. The word Subhagaha means, my dear brothers and sisters, full of bhag. The word bhag means fortune. Bhare bhagya manushatana pava. The Lord Ganesha has given us such a beautiful body. Ask yourself the question, where do we go in our lives in order to get this spiritual knowledge? Are we going to the good places that will take us up in life? Or are we going to places that will bring us down, that will allow us to poison the body, my dear brothers and sisters? Subhagaha, the fortune of Lord Ganesha is this human body. Then say the word sundara. Sundara means ever beautiful is Lord Ganesha. He never ages. As a matter of fact, Lord Ganesha has looked the same from time immemorial. And what does this mean, my dear brothers and sisters? He is so in tune with Bhagavan Shankara, the bliss that we're trying to find. In this soul, there is, my dear friends, the Paramatma. You see the Om? All of us wear this Om on our necklace and sometimes we fail to realize what it is. This Om symbolizes the primordial power called Bhagavan Shankara that allows my mind to switch on, that allows the images of this world to be seen. And Bhagavan Ganesha is the steering rod that directs my mind to feel emotions, not necessarily for the world of objects and things that come and go, but to feel emotions that allow me to think thoughts of something higher in our life. Then say the word Gajavaktra, everybody. Gajavaktra. The beautiful elephant face teaching us, my dear friends, that we must think larger. His large elephant head symbolizes thinking greater, never being the same person you were yesterday. 
If you want to be successful in this world, you have to do three things. Write this down for those of you taking notes. You have to be better than you were yesterday, professionally, if you're a worker in the world. You have to be better than you were yesterday, spiritually, if you're a sadhaka, if you're on the path of spirituality. What you did yesterday does not count. Forgive me for using my brother Shaker as the example again. But he outdoes himself every day. As a matter of fact, when I called him this morning, I said, my brother, what did you do differently? When he picks up the phone, he's so busy sometimes, he doesn't even pick up my call. But when I, I get through to him and I say, brother, what did you do differently today? Shaker always has an answer of a different sadhana, a different thing that he's learned spiritually in this world. So you have to do better professionally, do better spiritually, and do better mentally. And how do we do better mentally? Fixing your mind on the intellect that is the buddhi that Ganesh is to get ourselves back to that space of peace that we've lost in this world. Say the word prasanna vadana, everybody. Prasanna. prasanna vadana means that Ganesha has a smile on his face always. I often say the people in New York, only in the Arya spiritual ground, they smile. When you look at them, they smile with you. But the same person you will see on the A train, the adventure train, the A train, and what will begin to happen? You will see a frown on their face. Ask yourself the question, what has transpired in your life that has allowed us to forget about this smile? This beautiful smile that the Lord has given us, my dear brothers and sisters. Muskurala Dale Muskura. Everybody? Muskura Dale Muskura. Muskura You know my Aja always used to rhyme, Aja bhai. Aja always used to rhyme, 102 years old, to the last day, to his last breath. You know what he told me? He said, bhai, if you want to be somebody, if you're humble, you never stumble. Right? So in this way, my dear brothers and sisters, if we can be like Ganapati, continuously smiling in our life, the Lord will smile with us within. Say the word, Supramaya. The wonderful Lord who is full of love, Prem, my dear brothers and sisters, means love. And if your heart is full of love, you can give love. Isn't that right? If you're careful and nice, you're be nice. But if your heart is full of love, the only thing that you can give is love. Let's say I have $10 in my pocket. The only thing I have is $10. What is the only thing I can give you monetarily? $10. If I have a heart full of love, my dear brothers and sisters, in such a way where I gave all my love away and yet my heart was the fullest yet, that is when Lord Ganesha would have truly blessed you. Then, Lalita Kritaha, say Lalita Kritaha. The wonderful Lord who has the tendency to make the world better, the tendency to make the world brighter. If we can do this, my dear brothers and sisters, Bhagavan Ganesha would indeed smile. So that was a little bit about Lord Ganesha. And I know in, in 10 days we have this celebration and you will hear so much about Ganesha. But today I want to take a little turn. I want to turn away from Ganesha as a murti. And we are all familiar with the murti. As a matter of fact, Hindus believe in one God. How many gods do we believe in everybody? Wow. One God. But that one God takes many different forms. And who is this one God? 
the power within all of us that allows mitosis, meiosis, cell division, physiological functions, breathing, all of the things that we take for granted, the involuntary beating of the heart. When we went to the doctor the other day, they said my heart rate was 80 beats per minute. But I said to the doctor, Doc, I didn't do that. He said, who did? I said, it was Ganapati. And doctor said, yes, you were right. And anybody, my dear brothers and sisters, who acknowledges that there's a presence within all of us, as Bhagavad Gita says very beautifully, Krishna says, I am the intelligence in all things intelligent. When we can begin to find that Ganesha within as the power source of this human body, my dear brothers and sisters, that is when we get somewhere in this world. So I want to step away from the fact that yes, Hindus pray to one God taking many forms and Lord Ganesha happens to be one of the many. And I want to take a step into Ganapati as a phenomenon. Ganapati is the remover of all obstacles, impediments and difficulties, my dear brothers and sisters. And if it's one thing that causes difficulty in our life, do you know what that is? Anxiety and depression. These are real subjects, my dear friends, that the youth of America and the youth of this whole world, especially in Guyana, where the suicide rate is so high, the anxiety that they're going through and the depression that happens because of anxiety, this is something that we have to battle. And if at all we're going to be practitioners of spirituality, Ganapati, praying to him and acknowledging him, my dear brothers and sisters, will allow us to come back once and for all in our lives and in the lives of many that we come across, the anxiety and depression that we come across on a daily basis. For those of you taking notes, I want you to write the word anxiety. What is the cause of anxiety? The cause of anxiety is when I have a fear of loss. It is as simple as that. When I have a fear of losing something that I love. And many parents, when they first have birth, when they first give birth to a child, a mother, she's in tremendous fear. Not because of any other point, but the world that we live in. She looks at a child so innocent, so cute as a little baby. And she says to herself, what kind of world will my child inherit? And will he or she be mentally fit and mentally strong enough to handle this world? We live in a world, my dear friends, where because of anxiety, because of fear of loss, we've become weak in the mind. We've allowed the phones to think more for us. As a matter of fact, I asked a child who was about 15 years old, I asked him, can you do 10 times 10? You know what he said to me? Hold, a charity, hold on one second, let me pull up my phone. And the man said, I got a nice car, calculate up on my phone, and I calculate them nicely. And he said, 10 times 10 is 100. I said, but hey, any phone for that? Then I asked the man to spell a word, a basic word, anatomy, for example. The chap said, hold on, hold on, Acharya Ji, me get your answer right here. Swami Google Ananda will tell me how to spell any word and tell me what it means also. So you see, while we have advanced technologically, my dear friends, and my fear is that when AI comes into the picture, when this artificial intelligence comes in and it's in full bloom generations from now, no one will have a brain anymore. Elon Musk is already putting chips in people's heads and I think the brain will shrink and the chip will get bigger and our eyes will begin to glow <laughs> because we'll be robots. So my dear brothers and sisters, this anxiety problem, a fear of loss, and this is something we all go through. If it's one thing I can say that I go through and I went through is anxiety. All of us, we're not exempt from it. Say the word depression, everybody. Depression, depression is not a fear of loss but a depression state of mind, a depressed state of mind is when I went through a situation and I'm still living in that situation currently. How many of you have ever went through a tough time? Raise your hand. You can be okay, open here, it's okay. If you raise your hand, Ganapati can lift you up. When you go through a tough time, my dear brothers and sisters, ask yourself the question, is it worth go taking that tough time again and again in my mind so much so that it starts to handicap me? Is it worth it, my dear brothers and sisters? You have to be strong. 
And as Ganapati is a phenomenon in our life, we see an example in the Bhagavad Gita of someone called Arjuna, who is going through so many trials and tribulations based on a situation. And let me ask you the question, after I read this verse, did you ever feel this way in life? And this is an obstacle in our life. Anxiety and depression in 2024 is the greatest obstacle that we can ever face. And the verse goes like this. Sitanti mama gatrani mukam cha parishoshyati vepa tushya shari deme roma harishascha jayate Arjuna says, as he looks to his beautiful cousin Krishna, the beautiful Basriwala Krishna, he says, my limbs have failed me, O Krishna. My mouth is parched, my body shivers, and my hair stands on end. Gandhi vam samsrate hasta, vakchay vam pariduhyate, na cha shaknu myavastatum, pramativa cha me manaha. My bow slips from my hand, my skin is burning all around, and I am unable to stand. My mind is whirling. Oh Krishna, help me, help me, oh Lord. Does this sound like us, my dear brothers and sisters? In the beautiful pages of the Bhagavad Gita again, as we look at Ganapati as a phenomenon, this beautiful Lord tells us how to overcome anxiety and depression. And it says here in the beautiful verse, number 47 of the Bhagavad Gita in chapter 2 how exactly we can get over it and I want all of you to repeat after me as we look at Ganapati as a phenomenon tonight how can we get over our trials and tribulations please repeat after me everyone everyone Mapaleshu Kadachana Hare, put on the mic, come on. Where is Varun there? Where is Varun? Okay. Okay. Karman Deva Dika Raste. Everybody. Karman Deva Dika Raste. Mapaleshu Kadachana Mapaleshu Kadachana Makar Mapalehe Turbho. Mate Sangos for Karmani. Mate Sangos for Karmani. In this beautiful verse of the Bhagavad Gita, my dear brothers and sisters, who is none other than Shruti Mata. Shruti means the Vedas, the Upanishads, my dear brothers and sisters. And Mata, of course, Jagadambi Durga. This beautiful Bhagavad Gita has all of the answers to our suffering. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that if you want to remove all the obstacles, if you want to make Ganapati a living aspect of your life, you must get involved in work. Karma. Your right is only to work in this world. But the question is, my dear brothers and sisters, what kind of work? What kind of work will take me away from my, from my anxiety? The other day, somebody said, Charity, me want to doctor. Me want to doctor. Doctor make no no money, man. So me want to be a doctor. Me not care about help people. Me want to get money. So when the body now went to medical school after 18 years of medical school to become a doctor, he found out very quickly that insurance money, right, eats up all of his salary. And he's left with nothing. So if he goes to work like that, is that going to cause more anxiety and depression in his life? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Ask yourself the question today. For you who are deciding on a major, for those of you who are deciding on what to do with your life, and I often say, if you're under the age of 100 years old, you can still think about what you want to do. Don't be one of those people who are 70 years old and say, Acharya Ji, man, I know what to do with myself. Oh, 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 God, oh, oh. Don't be one of those people. Every day, if you're in retirement, my dear brothers and sisters, it is not retirement, it is rewirement. It's time to rewire your life. Am I still going forward for the US dollar? Am I still doing the things that will allow me to accumulate all the houses and cars? Or am I doing something, my dear brothers and sisters, that is worthwhile? Am I working for the Lord? This is what you have to ask yourself. 
Gone are the days where you came to America with 10 bucks in your pocket and you struggled to make a living. Okay, great. You had to work three jobs. But in 2024, those of you who are here are doing very well. And the mere fact that you can dress so nicely and come to this place, that means you do very well in life. <laughs> You see, now look at me, me, me poor, me poor, me get a little white cloth and me okay, shake out you the same way at all them bronchitis. But are you working for the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters? Or are you allowing your life to simply ebb away in the comings and goings of the material life? You see, you can have all the money in the world, my dear brothers and sisters. You can have all the houses, all the cars in the world. But if you're not happy within yourself, kya fayda hai? Are you going to take it with you? And I often said it before, and I'll say it again, and I said it right here last week, last year, and, and last week in Reminded the Park, and last year right here. I said, if you don't enjoy the wealth that you work for, your ungrateful son and law, you get all anyway. So you better enjoy him. <laughs> all right, I'm just joking, maybe. So time is up, my dear brothers and sisters. You have to ask yourself the question, who am I working for? Karmanye Adhikara Ste Krishna says, if you work for me, you will never be upset in your life. Acharya how can I work for Krishna? Is he a boss? Can I go on LinkedIn and find Krishna and work for him? Let's see how. Repeat after me. Maapale Shukadachana. Everybody. Maapale Shukadachana. Work for me, says Krishna. How? Do something selfless. Find a purpose in this life and you will never be full of anxiety ever again. You know why? Ma paleshu kadachana says Krishna. Do something in the life that is worthwhile so you don't look for the fruit of your actions. You don't look for the fruit of your work, but the work is full of fulfillment and love. So much so that your heart is the fullest yet. So imagine you're working for God now. You're doing your part-time job, you're doing your full-time job, but in the process, you're taking the time to find a purpose. How many of you want to find a purpose? Raise your hand. How many of you? Retired people, young people, doesn't matter. You can be zero age, zero, age zero or a hundred. You're still a youngster, remember. How many of you want to find a purpose? Raise your hand. Why is it that God put you on this planet? Do you know? God put you on this planet to be happy. God put you on this planet not to have anxiety. And to do so, you're going to have to find a purpose. Now, what's the next question you may think? How do I find a purpose, Acharya Are you ready to find a purpose? How many of you want to find a purpose? Take a piece of paper when you get home tonight. Serious homework assignment. Take a piece of paper when you go home tonight. And you're going to divide it into four columns. The first column you're going to write things that I like to do. And it can be anything. I like to cook, I like to read, I like to sew, I like to play Xbox, I like to play basketball, I like to do tabla, whatever this art is that you love, put it down. But then you're gonna put things I love to do, not like anymore, but love, column two, things I love to do. And in this column, you're going to write all the things that were in column one that were stronger than like, things I love to do. And then in the third column, you're going to write something interesting. Things that I love to do and it helps the world. And in that column, Xbox and basketball, not a carry over to that. So you have to think hard. This is something that will take you five years. But if you do so, you're going to live every day of your life fulfilled and happy within. Then the fourth column, the top three things from column three. So what was the first column? Can you tell me everybody? Things I like to do. Second column. Things I love to do. Third column. Things I love to do that will help the world. And number four, top three. And one of those will be your purpose. And when you do your purpose and you live your life in purpose and you put your mind not on your problems, but you put your mind on the problems of others, guess what will happen? Anxiety and depression will vanish. Ma Kadachana. While I have to stress out at work, 
When I leave my job at 5 p.m., I go to my purpose. I fulfill my purpose to God. I work for Krishna. I work for Ganesha. And I don't expect anything. Why? Because my purpose brings about fulfillment. And you can't put a price on fulfillment. Isn't that true? When your heart feels so good because you helped another person. Isn't that right? How do you feel? Then, Ma karma palahe tur buhu. Krishna says, if you want to remove the obstacle of anxiety in your life, what should you do? Do not allow the fruit to become the reason why you did the purpose in the first place. Don't say, Achai you no, know, I went to the soup kitchen. You told me about purpose. I went to the soup kitchen and the person that I was serving, I did so, so happily. But the person gave me a frown. And I, you know, that is not where I want to be. Let me leave that place. That can't be. If you're working for the Lord, it doesn't matter who smiles with you or who curses you or who talks your name or who does anything. When you're working for the Lord, you do not take into consideration what people say. You know why? Because people like to talk. And if talk be the curse of this world, it is the curse against all the holy people. Don't worry, not ladies here, not ladies. People are Starbucks market guys. Nahe, nahe, hey, I am proper nice man. Me no alay in this park, hey, alay nice. Ma karma pala he tur buhu. Krishna speaking, you want to find Ganapati? You want to find a phenomenon called Ganesha? You want to remove anxiety from your life? You must not put the fruit ahead of your work. Don't do something because it pays enough money, because it will be left behind right here for someone else to enjoy. And also, Mate Sangos to Karmani. Say that to me. Mate, everybody. Karmani. Very good. Everybody. Mate. Sango. Asto Karmani. Do not allow, my dear brothers and sisters, the non-achievement of your goals as a purpose lead to inaction in life. My brother Shekhar, for example, you know how many times he was disappointed? How many times he called me and this poor boy cried? A charity, man, I know if I want to walk this path. <laughs> you know what I told him? You better walk the path. You better come and you better serve. And this was about 10, 12 years ago. Don't think it's now. All of us have this thought that we want to give up. Do not allow the things that did not work out in your life. Every day is a new day to be a new, my dear brothers and sisters. Lord Ganesha is trying to teach us that if you're a true practitioner of spirituality, the dead past is gone, the future is unborn. All we have is the here and now. So no matter what you did yesterday, good or bad, it's irrelevant. Do not allow the disappointments of yesterday to handicap your mind. And as we continue to look at Ganesha as a philosophy and as a, as a phenomenon, I can't help being Saturday to dive into Ram Manas as we look at the ultimate devotee and his obstacles, how he overcame them, how he directed his life in such a way that would have allowed Krishna and Ram and Ganesha to be worked for. But before we get into that, let us sing the Ramayana Suvira. As we remember Lord Ganesha, first and foremost, as we remember Saraswati Devi, and as we remember our Gurujis and our mothers and fathers, wherever they be, may they bless us as we sing their glory. i 
We bow to the feet of our gurus. Why? Because they are Ganesha in living form. Nararupa Hari Mahamoha Tamapunja Jasu Bachara Rabikara Nikara. And with their beautiful words of purpose, with the Guru's beautiful words of showing us that we're more than the body, more than the soul, but we are that higher self, this Bhagavan Shankara. Shankara Suvana Keshari Nandan. That beautiful, beautiful Hanuman is none other than Bhagavan Shankara himself. And as we look at the beautiful exploits of Hanumanji in conclusion tonight, my dear brothers and sisters, being the father, Bhagavan Shankara of Lord Ganesha, the son will be so happy when he hears the glory of dad. Isn't that true? Hanumanji has such great strength, my dear brothers and sisters. Him she love the beautiful Hanuman glows from his body, a mountain of gold. He glows. His personality is so beautiful. Why? Because he has no obstacles in his way, in his mind. That beautiful Hanumanji destroys all the forests of the demon race, all of the anxiety and depression of the mind. And he's the first amongst the wise. It is that beautiful Lord who has all the good qualities. That wonderful Ganesha is the Lord of Gunas, of all good qualities. 
सकल गुण निदानम बनराधाम अधीशम एंड ही इज द लीडर ऑफ हिज ट्राइबल पीपल रघुपति प्रिय भक्तम बात जातम नमामि and because he has these wonderful qualities he shines from within his mind his personality is so beautiful and loving he is the favorite of shri ram let us see the obstacles that hanuman ji went through on a saturday night to see the phenomenon called ganesha in this text what are the answers and how can we learn from hanuman ji we will see in this beautiful text and sisters and this mountain that he puts his foot on is you and I once we work for the lord once we say to ourselves that no matter what job we have no matter what circumstance we be in no matter how poor we are how rich we are no matter what the financial condition no matter what the state of the world is no matter what happens in our life no matter what they said what they didn't say it does not matter one bit you know why because the lord is your best well wisher when you go in front of your lord do not beg the lord for anything i beg all of you if you have to beg the lord for something beg for peace of mind the peace of mind enough oh lord while i'm alive to remove the anxiety and depression from my mind i have to find out what is it oh lord you have put me here for and his foot on the mountain hanuman ji my dear brothers and sisters the ultimate devotee who has removed the obstacle of self doubt from his mind he puts his foot on this majestic hill chaleo soga pa tala turanta and that hill that mountain my dear brothers and sisters that mountain sank into the nether world of the universe what does this mean for us when you have your trials when you have your tribulations when you put your purpose first by your brothers and sisters you will put your problems last you see what happens is 
You put your problems first and you'll never go anywhere in life. I want you to do another homework assignment tonight. All you have to do is write down what is going right in my life versus what is going wrong in my life. And you will see as you enumerate the things that are going right, I have a house, I have a car, I have a TV, we get Facebook so we can see live when satsang day, we can see wherever in the world satsang day, not any bad thing, only satsang day, you know, watch satsang only from the phone. When you have that written down, consider yourself blessed. But my dear brothers and sisters, you will see on the converse, as we juxtapose, as we see that the good things in our life are there, yes, but they're also bad things. And you will see as you weigh the bad versus the good, my dear friends, the bad things are very less. As a matter of fact, they weigh less than any of the good things that you would have enjoyed in this life. The same Ramayana says, my dear brothers and sisters, treat your neighbor's problem even though dust-like, like a grain of, pro like a grain of uh, sand. Even though dust-like, treat your neighbor's problem like a mountain rather. And how should you treat your problems? Treat your problems, even though mountain-like, like a grain of sand. This is a purposeful life, my dear friends. And as you put your foot on all of the negativities, leaving them all behind, making the promise today to grow professional if you have to, never be the same person you were yesterday, to grow spiritually, to grow personally, to grow mentally, leaving all of tomorrow, all of yesterday and tomorrow behind. Your problems too will go to the wayside. Hanumanji, Lord Ganesha, Sri Ram, all of them will begin to work together in your favor, my dear brothers and sisters, and you'll begin to see that peace that you're looking for through purpose. Jimmy Amog Hanagopati Karabana. And it also says here, Hanumanji was like the unerring arrow of Sri Ram. Wherever that arrow went, there was no obstacle, my dear brothers and sisters, because it came from the Lord's quiver. Whenever you're coming from a space that is divine, whenever you're coming from a space that is good, whenever you're genuine, things work out. And I want you to write that down for those of you taking notes. Some of you ask me, Acharyaji, again, why do things not work for me? And you know what the answer is? It's coming from a space of selfishness. It's not about what you want from God. You know, when you do puja, you do agarbati, isn't that true? And we say the wonderful agarbati mantra, isn't that right? You know what you're saying? You're saying, oh Ganapati, as I wave this Arati, as I wave this Agarbati, allow my thoughts, allow my words, allow my deeds to be like Agarbati. But some of us in this world, not you, some of us, the words, the deeds, and the thoughts don't smell like agabati. They smell like the opposite. So you have to ask yourself the question, Jimmy Amoga Nagupati Karavana, as Hanumanji is showing us obstacles removed in his life. How? He allowed his life to be obstacle free. Why? Because everything he did came from a space of divinity. It came from a space of genuine nature. So ask yourself the question, like these brahmacharis sitting here, my brother Shaker is the leader of all of them. He always does things from his heart. He does things to make the community a better place, like you see here today. And when we can be in this way, Ganapati will remove all the challenges. You'll begin to believe in yourself where you failed to believe in yourself before, and you'll be able, my dear brothers and sisters, to cause and create miracles in your life. Ehi bhakti chaleyo Hanumana and Hanumanji pressed forward, my dear brothers and sisters. What was one of the obstacles that he encountered and how can we learn from this? Tosidashi writes in this beautiful chopai.
There's something called karma. And when you can really convince yourself that karma is a natural law like gravity and Wi-Fi. <laughs> when you can convince yourself that karma is natural in my life. That I must have done something wrong in the past life. That would have warranted something wrong in this life. That is why when I'm suffering in this life. I should never ever give up my dear brothers and sisters. I should continue to press forward in life. And if I can treat my problems as responsibilities, Ganapati will bless me. Ask yourself, why not me? Don't ask yourself that rather. Why me? Ask yourself, why not me? Jalanidhi Nagupati Dhuta Vichari Te Me Nako Hohi Shramahari The wonderful ocean lord, Samudra Dev, looked at Hanumanji pressing forward in his mission, pressing forward in his selfless acts in this world. And what happened? He summoned the mountain, Mainak, and said, why don't you surface and give Hanumanji rest? You see, Ganapati will put rest in your mind. You know what? Let me not do this today. Let me put off Ganapati Utsav till next year. Are, if you put things off till next year, next year may never come. Acharya Ji said tonight I should find my purpose. But let me eat dinner first and see. And then by the time you eat dinner, you turn on the TV, you're done. Ask yourself the question, when rest comes into my life, when I rest, I rust. You have to ask yourself the question, the question, how much am I resting? When you're dead and when we are li life leaves this body, Jabat Pranatan se nikale, when this life leaves this body, there'll be plenty of time to rest, my dear brothers and sisters. So this rest thing, we have to keep a vigilant eye on, or else it can eat away all of your time. Then, my dear friends, Hanumanji does something that we all can learn from. What does he do? Let us see how he removes this challenge. Hanuman Uniki na prana Hanuman te hi parsa kal Uniki na prana Ram ka raj ki ne binu Mohi ka vishra Oh, no, no, no. 
You know, when I was in college, I was Greek. Did you know that? I was Greek. Not a fraternity. But they used to call me Arun Procrastinopolis. Anybody with the name Apolis is a Greek person. And Procrastinopolis means the man like for procrastinate. I know what procrastinate means. When you put off, put off, put off thing. When you put things off, my dear brothers and sisters, you are taking your life away from yourself. Did you know that? You can buy a house, you can buy a car, you can buy this, you can buy everything in the world, but you can never buy what? Tell me, T-I-M-E, what is that? Time. So as you go forward in your purpose like Hanumanji, he's teaching us tonight, do not waste your time, my dear brothers and sisters. Do not allow the fruit and the fruit that is not there in your life also. Maybe the job did not work out. Maybe the marriage did not work out. Maybe your relationship with your child did not work out. Today is the day to mend all of it. And when you can mend your life in such a way, my dear brothers and sisters, removing the anxiety and depression by living a purposeful life every day, not living in the past, but living in the now that will ensure a beautiful future, you will be like Hanumanji who removes all the challenges. What did he do? Hanuman atehi parasakar. He touched the mountain. Puni kina pranam. He did pranams to it. Rama kaju kine binu mohi kaha vishram. Without completing my Lord's work, how can I ever dream of rest? When we die, we're going to rest. Rest, 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 rest. But when we're alive, you must be dynamic, my dear brothers and sisters. You must use this body with the soul that God has given you. Ganapati has breathed life in you, using the intellect to change your mind from lethargy to energy to a dynamic living. So much so that you begin to surprise yourself. So much so that you begin to inspire people. And when you can lead your mind with the intellect, You'll begin to feel all the great emotions. You'll begin to cry for your Lord. You'll begin to want to serve your Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. And you will one day direct this intellect right to where it needs to be. To that peace, my dear brothers and sisters, that we're looking for. How many of you like ice cream? In conclusion, raise your hand. How many of you like ice cream? Are you like ice cream? Huh? Who here likes ice cream? Yes? How do you feel when you eat ice cream? Happy? Where do you feel this happiness? Inside. Did you really need the ice cream if you could only feel happiness within your own self? No. Why? Because you can feel happy for no reason. But to do so, to get rid of that anxiety, to get rid of that depression, you're going to have to again listen to Krishna. Chapter 2, verse 47. Karma ne vadika araste ma paleshu kadachana ma karma palehe turbuhu ma te songos pa karmani. Live your life with purpose. Do not leave your mind in the realm of the future to look for the fruit. You'll be disappointed. Do not allow the fruit to be the cause of why you do what you do. Don't look forward to anything. Just serve, just give, and the Lord will direct your path, my dear brothers and sisters. Hanumanji continues. I want to know what happened next. Who here want to know? Raise your hand. Let me see. I want the kata continue. Raise your hand. Let me see. If you don't raise your hand, I stop. Raise your hand. Let me see. Oh God, everybody. Come back next year. 
So tonight's presentation, my dear brothers and sisters, was simply a presentation of purpose. And if you can find a purpose in your life, that phenomenon called Ganesha will remove the biggest obstacle in your life, self-doubt that comes from depression, and remove fear of loss. In this world, you're going to lose. All of us are going to lose. I always tell you in conclusion that all of you have a profit even though you lost. Someone the other day said, Acharya, I lost everything. I said, no, you didn't. You didn't lose everything. You still have the skin on your skin on your bones that you came into the world with. Therefore, you're still operating on a profit. You still have your human body. And with this body, you can promise yourself to do great things in this world. So in conclusion, my dear friends, let's sing this beautiful song to Bhagavan Shankara, the father of Lord Ganesha. As we pray that Lord Shiva bless us and bless this wonderful grace of the divine Inc. family, Durga Devastanam family, with peace and happiness. And all of you here today, may you find that peace in your life. Look deeper than the body and mind and find that inner peace that comes with self-introspection. <laughs> Din din tak tak din din la, baje damro. Din din tak tak din din la, baje damro. Shiva ji ka jai damro. Din din tak tak din din la, baje damro.
is jam-packed and it's because of your love for Lord Ganesha that you've come in such large numbers to celebrate his glories and to always remember that he's not just a Murti in your life but he's a phenomenon within you and once you find that phenomenon within you that removes all the challenges great things are possible for you in this life for more information visit bmny.org or come to Bhuvaneshwar Mandir in addition to Shekharji's Mandir where we teach the scriptures five days a week. Mondays we teach the Shiva Mahapuran from 5.30 to 8.30, 8 p.m. on Mondays and we do Shiva Lingam Puja. Tuesdays Hanuman Chalisa and we've started a new venture, Sundar Khan. If you want to learn the Sundar Khan, come and we'll teach you how to chant it every Tuesday, 5.30 to 8. Wednesdays, we teach the Bhagavad Gita, more about Arjuna's anxiety and how Krishna helped him and how that advice can help us. We learn about that systematically every Wednesday, 5.30 to 8. Thursdays, free yoga classes. Come and enjoy yoga with us as well. Then Saturday, Youth Empowerment Seminar. Bring your child to learn how to make the right choices every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Drop them off. Do all what you have to do and come back. They'll get a good lunch and good food for the soul. And then Sunday mornings, 8.30 to 11, regular Sunday service. Continue to support my brother Shekhar. Shekharji, where are you? Where is he? Shekharji in the back? Here's my brother here. Come on the stage, Shekhar. Come on the stage. Come right next to me here for a second. I don't think he gets enough recognition, you know. He's a man that likes to be behind the scenes. He doesn't speak much, but when he speaks, it's powerful. And you know, in my life, I'm very skeptical of many, many, many people, unless they prove their worth. But this brother here, not only does he speak words of wisdom, but his actions are equally in line with service and purpose. Give him a round of applause. I can't say no, and he's not telling me to do this. As a matter of fact, he may tell me after this, bye, you do that again, you're never coming back to this park. <laughs> but I'm telling you the truth, that in everything that this wonderful soul does, he does it from his heart. And that is why, brother, you will always have Bhuvaneshwar Mandir's support. And I want to ask all of you, he's not going to ask, and he told me not to ask, but I'm going to ask all of you on behalf of him, on behalf of this organization. You see this tent and all of the wonderful facilities that he's created. He's created a hostel in the back where he stays, and other brahmacharis as well. He's created a kitchen where you'll have a wonderful dinner. They're cooking food, free of cost. He doesn't ask for anything. 
But you know, everything costs paisa. While we don't advocate going after the mighty dollar, we have to admit the fact and acknowledge that all of this costs money. Money is not important, it's not everything, but it is necessary, it has a utility value. And my brother Shaker will never ask you, but I will ask you. Find it in your heart tonight, all of you are here in such large numbers, Give whatever you can to this organization so that they can continue to do this, not just next year, but for many, many years to come. And you know, my brother, my wish for you is one day you'll have a huge temple where this park will pale into insignificance, where you can actually do all of this at that wonderful site where you can transform the lives of many like you're doing today. That is my dream for you. So with your donations, I think we need to support Shaker and his team, Pandit Shakerji. He's a Guruji to many of these wonderful souls here. We need to support him. A person who does good, we can never ever fail in his company. So my brother, Ganapati's blessings to you forever. And may you continuously shine in everything that you do. And to all of these wonderful souls, Vani Ji and all of the wonderful souls here as well, who have contributed to this wonderful, wonderful event. God bless you for your tireless work. Give all of them a round of applause. I want to say in conclusion that I love all of you. Every one of you that I see in this tent today, I love all of you. I know all of you as a matter of fact. And it will be very wrong of me to leave this asan and not tell you that because of your presence here, it motivates us to do what we do. So we love you, continue to be who you are, continue to get over that anxiety and depression obstacle like Hanumanji did, and allow your life to be like an arrow straight to the goal of a purposeful life. Honorable Acharya Arun Basaji. Acharya Ji has eloquently delivered a discourse to us all that will benefit us as entities of the higher energy. Acharya Ji expounded on how to find one's true purpose in this life. Sometimes our purpose may not always be right there in front of us, but with the help of this divine energy, with the help of God, whatever denominations we may pray to, we can find it. Our scriptures teaches us beautifully that life is a journey guided by the pursuit of four main goals, often referred to as Purusharatas, as mentioned by Acharya Ji. Our duty, which is dharma, aritta, which is prosperity, kama, desires, and moksha, liberation. These goals help individuals find balance and purpose in life, and I hope that each and every one of us present here find our true calling. Acharya Ji, thank you for gracing grace of divine Sri Durga Devastana's third session of Sri Ganesh Chaturthi Utsivam, and thank you for always supporting our temple and organization. May you continue to be blessed by Sri Ganapati. Atita Nevalacharya Another round of applause for him. In our audience, we have Acharya Leela Gosaiji, who is the mother of our dear Acharya Ji. It is my esteemed honor to call upon her to briefly share words of motivation. Please welcome Acharya Leela Gosaiji. You know, when we think about the power of God, and in particular this period of Ganesh Chaturthi, we think about how God manifests. He doesn't come. Bhagavan Krishna, he said to Arjuna, when Arjuna says, let me see your real form. He said to Arjuna, I cannot show it to you because it is so powerful. But I will look around the world and, and you will see me in, in the world, in everything. And tonight, I think for sure, Bhagavan Ganesh has manifested in Pandit Shekharji for erecting this beautiful 
um, this beautiful mandir so that we can all gather and, um, and seek the grace of uh, Bhagavan Ganesh. So let's give Pandachi Kunji a big round of applause. And of course, to our own Acharya Anunji. Tonight, actually, in addition to what Vani said about finding our purpose, Acharya G has said to us that we should not procrastinate. Do not put off our spiritual growth endeavor in this life. It should be of paramount importance to all of us that we should seek every opportunity to attend the satsang. Sangha satsuvi dhyatam bhagavato bhaktir dhyatam dhyatam Attend the satsang, listen to the words of the scriptures, and intensify our devotion to God. So one, do not pro procrastinate. How do we know that we're not procrastinate? The three questions we should ask yourself as a refresher, if you remember, what's the first? How much better are we today than yesterday? But more importantly, how much better are we this Ganesh Chaturthi than we were Ganesh Chaturthi 2023, we should ask ourselves. How Bhagavan Ganesh is this buddhi, the ability to apply our intelligence in everything we do in the world. And so how much better do we think and transact in the world? What is, how have we what have we done to strengthen our connection, our relationship with God? What's the second question? Have we grown spiritually? Have we grown spiritually since last year, since yesterday? Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya says, Vedha Nityam and Dhyatam, read your scriptures every day. They're powerful. They have powerful messages for us, as we see um, Acharya Ji delivering tonight. Uh, chapter 2, Shloka 47. Work is thy concern, reward, not thy work is thy duty, uh, reward, not thy concern. And um, so our, our scriptures give us instructions on how we should live life. And are we in a better place mentally or are we still sentimental and mental? Okay, how are we thinking? How much happier we are in this world? And then he said, find your purpose and then cultivate the four wealths and that the, the, the four pursuits of wealth. Dharma, righteous uh, living, guided by the scriptures. Arata, spiritual wealth, over material wealth. Material wealth is important. Uh, dharma, artha, karma, selfless work, and moksha. Um, are we, do we really have the ability to free ourselves from all sorrows? Actually, our scriptures uh, promises that if we study and we do our sadhana on a regular basis, if we are sincere, then it says, Atyantika Dukkha Nivriti Param Ananda Praktischa, that you can actually be free of all sorrows in this world. Is that possible? Absolutely. And only then you can achieve supreme bliss that Bhagavan Ganesh is Tvam Ananda Mayastvam Brahma Brahmasi that I am that Ananda, I am the supreme bliss happiness that we are all looking for. So tonight is actually very powerful. Let's take it away. Don't forget about it. Continue to reflect and apply these principles to our lives. May Bhagavan Ganesh bless all of us and so that we can grow spiritually and we can meet again tomorrow and for as long as this uh, yatra continues. And of course, uh, not too prematurely, look forward to next year. Okay. Thank you.
the Bond Valley thinks they might begin. I'd like to acknowledge the presence of Chachi Gaitri, all the way from Guyana. When I went to give a round of applause. When I went to Parika in Guyana last year, Parika in, on the West Coast, all right? When I went there, I was greeted by such a wonderful soul, and it was my first jag in Guyana ever, last November. And she was the first temple, her temple, the wonderful Krishna Mandir in Parika, was the first temple that I read a three-day jag at. And her personality is such that she lives her life with purpose. And I'm so happy to see her. Varun, who's doing the sound today, is my brother. And he is her wonderful son. So in this way, it takes a wonderful son to have a great mother. And they're definitely a power pack combination. So give Chachi Gaitri a round of applause. And also before Vani takes the mic again, I'd like to call our president, Debbie G. She has a special presentation for Shekhar G and the team here at the Durga Devastanam, the Grace of the Divine. Bhuvadeshwar Mandir today, in lieu of all of the work that they are doing night after night for 11 nights, we want to donate collectively $1,500 to this cause from Bhuvadeshwar Mandir. So my brother Shekhar, where are you? Please come and accept this from Debbie Ji. Come, Debbie Ji, come right here in front here and hand it to him. Om Bhadram Karne Bhishuniyam Devaha Bhadram Pashe Maksha Bhariya Jatraha Stire Range Shushtva Mumsa Stunuve Vishema Deva Tayadayo Swastira Indro Pradasravaha Swastira Pusha Vishwegaha Swastira Stark Shorish Devi Swasti Nobri Haspati Dadatu Bole Shri Ganapati Bhagavan Ki Thank you, Bhavanisha Mandaji, for that beautiful contribution. And to Acharya Lilaji, thank you for those beautiful words of encouragement to us all. We thank you for gracing this beautiful session with us at the Tanyavat. Before we stand for Archie, we will take one bhajan. I'll ask Mataji Yunus, who is the dear mother of our Guruji Shikhar Prasad, to please come forward and render her service in the form of a kirtana. Please welcome Mataji Yunus Ji. Oh, 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 oh,
Take this divine and golden opportunity to express our heartfelt thank you to all of you for coming and giving your utmost support to Sri Ganesh Chaturthi Mahotsavam 2024. Please give a round of applause to wherever you asked you for tonight. At this time, may we all kindly stand for final RT. Just a quick announcement. When you come up for RT, if you have your shoes on, please leave it by the seats when you come up. Thank you. Om Eganandaya Vidmahe Vakradundaya Dimahi Tanna Dandif Prajodaya Ate Om Yopam Pushpam Veda Pushpavan Prajavan Pajavan Pavati Chandramava Avam Pushpam Pushpavan Prajavan Pajavan Pavati Yevam Veda Yopam Ayatanam Veda Ayatanavan Pavati Agnerva Ava Mayatanam Ayatanavan Pavati Yo Agner Ayatanam Veda Ayatanavan Pavati Apova Agner Ayatanam Ayatanavan Pavati Ya Evam Veda Yo Pa Mayatanam Veda Ayatanavan Pavati Vayurva Ava Mayatanam Ayatanavan Pavati Yo Vayur Ayatanam Veda Ayatanavan Pavati Apove Vayur Ayatanam Ayatanavan Pavati Ya Evam Veda Yo Pa Mayatanam Veda Ayatanavan Pavati Asau Veda Vannava Mayatanam Ayatanavan Pavati Yo Mushyatapada Ayatanam Veda Ayatanavan Pavati Apova Amushyatapada Ayatanam Ayatanavan Pavati Ya Evam Veda Yo Pa Mayatanam Veda Ayatanavan Pavati 
चंद्रमा वा अवाम आयतनम आयतनवान भवते यश चंद्रमा सा आयतनम वेदा आयतनवान भवते आपो वे चंद्रमा सा आयतनम आयतनवान भवते या एवं वेदा या पाम आयतनम वेदा आयतनवान भवते नक्षत्राणि वा अवाम आयतनम आयतनवान भवते यो नक्षत्राणा मायतनम वेदा आयतनवान भवते आपो वे नक्षत्राणा मायतनम आयतनवान भवते या एवं वेदा यो पाम आयतनम वेदा आयतनवान भवते परजन्यो वा अवाम आयतनम आयतनवान भवते यह परजन्य सायतनम वेदा आयतनवान भवते आपो वे परजन्य सायतनम आयतनवान भवते यह एवं वेदा जो पाम आयतनम वेदा आयतनवान भवते संबद्धसरो वा अवाम आयतनम आयतनवान भवते यह संबद्धसरस आयतनम वेदा आयतनवान भवते आपो वे संबद्धसरस आयतनम आयतनवान भवते यह एवं वेदा जो उपसुनागुम रदिष्टिदाम वेदा प्रत्येवतिष्ठते ओम राजा थे राजा यह प्रजन्य जागिने नमो वयम् वेश्वरनाय गुरुमहे समेकामान कामगामाय महिम कामेश्वरो वेश्वरनोरधातु कुबेराय वेश्वरनाय महाराजा यन्मह ओम दत प्रभा ओम दत भायु हो ओम दत आत्मा ओम दत सत्यम ओम दत सर्वम ओम दत पुरोहम नमः अंधस्तरति भूतेशु भूयां विश्वमूर्तिशु तुम यज्ञस्तुम वशकारस्तुम इंद्रस्तुम रुद्रस्तुम विष्णुस्तुम ब्रह्मास्तुम रजापदि हि तुम ददाप आपु ज्योति रसु अम्रतम ब्रह्मा भूर्भुवस्वरोम ईशानाम सर्व विद्यानामि ईश्वरा सर्व भूतानाम ब्रह्मा दिवदर ब्रह्मनो दिवदर ब्रह्मा शिवो में यस्तु सदा शिवो यानि गानि जबाबानि जन्मंदर ग्रदा निश्चर तानि दानि विदशंति प्रदक्षिणाम पदे पदे पापु हम बाप गर्मा हम पाप आत्मा पाप संभवा त्राहिमाम बंदरे काक्षम सर्व पापु हरु हरे सुवर्णमंद बुष्पम समर पयामि प्रातनमस्कारम समर पयामि संगीतम श्रावयामि अर्तिकम करिष्या बोलो गजाननं भगवान की मंगल मूर्ति गणपति पप्पा मंगल मूर्ति गणपति पप्पा जय गणेश जय गणेश जय गणेश देवा माता जाकी पार्वती पिता महादेवा Yeah. 
who is the God of this entire universe. We pray and we ask for His grace and blessing for all of us and the entire world. Hey, Prabhu, in your name we pray and we ask, let there be peace in every home. Let there be peace in the heavenly region, on earth, amongst plants, humans, and animals, and everyone. Let there be peace and happiness in every heart, in every religion, in every nationality. Throughout this entire world, we ask for peace and happiness for all. We pray to our great Sisters, children of God, Jai Shri Ram, to our honorable, most respectful, humble, devoted, and dedicated Acharya Arunji, 
who always willing to serve humanity with simplicity. Please clap for him. Our dear Acharya Ji, who always wanted to promote dharma in the highest level and who was born with a purpose and that purpose is to serve humanity and to serve dharma. Please clap. Yeah. At such a young age, would I have given up so many things in this Western world just to create a ladder that will take humanity to the highest form of devotion, which is teachings, which is love, and with his dedication. We are so honored to have the most honorable in our community to join with us along with Bhuvaneshwar Mandir, Durgadeva Sanam, the grace of divine, who would have come together these great organization and temple to make this great imagination of ours have become a reality in 2024, Sri Ganesh Chaturati Maho Utsav. Please clap for everyone. Five years ago, on September the 7th, which is this very day, that was the first day when we came to this ground. And that was also a Saturday. And that was the day when our great Acharya Ji would have performed here and deliver his divine provision on the 5th of September, five years ago. And with one phone call to him, and I asked, I said, dear brother, now that the temple is very small, we don't have space for the accommodation for everyone. Are you willing to join with me to go to the Aryan Spiritual Center that where we're going to host a three nights of Sri Ganesh Chatur Chaturati Utsav? He said, yes, my dear brother, of course. Definitely, I will be there. He never asked, what is the amount of people? He never asked, how much money is in the bank account? He never asked, how much you will give me? All what he asked, that whatever you're doing, make sure you do in the name of Karnesha, and you will be successful. Now come five years after, at that time we couldn't afford a decoration. We had it very simple. But the humility in him, the only priest in this community at that time, with just one simple phone call and words of motivation from his mouth to my ears and from my mouth to all the devotees have created a divine impact here tonight. And with the hard work of everyone who would have put together dear time and dear love coming Year after year, this is our fifth year now here at the Aryan Spiritual Center. This year, we have come out with distinction and with victory, with the blessing of Sri Ganesha. Just think that in life, as our dear Acharya Ji would have mentioned in his divine provision, that every disappointment in life is an appointment by God. So whatever disappointment may come in your way, always re remember that the God we are praying to is bigger than our problem. The God we are praying to, that whenever there is a situation in our life, Bhagavan is the solution. And that solution has to come with devotion. And remember, when you take emotion and devotion and you merge it together with God, motivation will be there in your part. So, Acharya Ji, my dear brother, we want to thank you for your support for the past five years. Coming here in this ground, we never know what we would have met up with at that time. There were so many obstacles came our way even after the Utsav. But he said to me, have the faith and have the strength in God. And here he is here with us five years after, and he will be here with us for another hundred and five years after. <laughs> so I want to thank all of you for your great support, for your love, for Ganesha, and I want to encourage you all 
Choose the divine. The divine will choose you. Put your love and trust only in God, not in anyone. Only God. Trust only God. And do your simple prayers every morning. And you will see how many great things will come your way. I did it. And I can tell you, 25 years ago, when we started Ganesha Turati in Guyana, Mata Gayatri is here. Her late Pati Dev, Krishna Samlal. In our village, we have a community ground is there. And I had wanted to do an elaborate celebration at that time. Varun was very little then. Her husband, her Pati Dev, he sent all his workmen to come and we set up a big tent. But we didn't have so much fancy decoration then. And he gave so much help and support us. We're all so happy to have her here with us all the way from Guyana. And have Varun, who is continuing with the seva that his father would have planted those great seeds. We're so happy to have this family. So once again, Grace of Divine Organization, we'd like to thank each and every one of you for being here with us. And we want to extend an invitation to all of you. We will continue with this great celebration until the 16th of this month. And every morning we're having 5 a.m. Havan Yagya and at 10 a.m. we're having Ganesha Abhishekam, Archana, Naivirim. Today he is decorated with Pera. Yesterday he was decorated with Ladhu. Clap for everyone who made that possible. Sometimes he takes five hours to decorate, but we love doing it. We're honored to serve the most honorable Lord of this universe. So again, come and join with us. And if you want to be a part, everything is free of cost. All your charge is some of your time, your love, and your devotion. That's all we ask for. So by coming night after night, Bhagavan Ganesha will definitely give you the solution for all your situation in life. And then on Sunday, which is on the 15th, we will be having a yatra from 121st Street to 131st here. And uh, we will march with him proudly with the flag of Dharma in our hand. And we all will sing together the praise of Karnesha. So with that said, may God bless all of you. And I would also like to thank our sponsor for tonight's puja. Mataji Indira. Where is her? And our entire family. Not for them. To go to God. Knowing Mataji Indira for almost 14 years now. Her family have always been a great support to our temple to our organization and we are happy that they would have sponsored this beautiful session here tonight also to detective dave please come forward clap for him please he also would have sponsored this morning puja and he would have been here this entire day you know what he did today he take a broom and he sweep from this gate here until the next, at the end of this lot. And while he was cleaning the place, someone told him, this is the ever first time someone is cleaning the street. Clap for him. <laughs> We're so proud to have him. He's a detective. And we would have known him for so many, but what I admire with him today, if he can come and take a broom and clean this compound and put everything together, whatever he did, was not for Ganesha or for any one of us, was for his own karma. And that is to remind all of you, as you come here, whatever you can help to do, whatever contribution you can give, whatever support you can give, please give it to this great cause. Now I ask our dear brother, Detective Dave, for him to make his divine presentation. Thank you, Pandaji. Pandit. I can't follow that script, but I'm going to try. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Panashekar, member of the Divine Grace, Panagasai, and the Curtain Group, and everyone here present tonight. On behalf of myself, my family, Shalini Mukesh Priya, Raj, Dev, Kenny, Mala, and her family, and thank you, everyone, for being here today. My message also is for the young folks. I'm going to try, but it's for the young folks also. So, one of my things to do with uh, 
they spread the knowledge, just like Pandit is also doing in his uh, in, in his his temple. They spread the word of uh, Bikard. Bikard is pretty simple. For uh, older generation, you work till 60, 65, 70 years old, all right? So I created a system where we could change that. So basically, Bicard, B-C-A-R-D. So B is for when you were born. C is when you should be finishing school. So between when you're born and 25, those are your fun years. Between C and A, is you live a healthy and active lifestyle, all right? And around 50 is when you should retire, all right? So now, how is that possible? So in Pandaji, in his group chat, he have a, a group chat for his uh, divine grace, and every time I would post, post something there, and many times it would be for city, state, or federal work, all right? So if you work for, let's just say, you work for a hotel, you will work for the hotel till 65, 70 years old, right? But if you work for a city, state, or federal job, you can retire early, right? 25 years that you retire. That's where you can start a business, do something else in life. Because again, going back to the older generation, you work till 68 to enjoy life. That's when you get to retire. So, but if you follow the system, get a city state or federal job, you retire early, okay? Now, this is goes, goes out to those young folks because we need to change that generation, right? So this way they're not working from now until then. So this, this is a principle, again, it's for the youth so they can change that, that uh, dharma. So, and I know this because it worked for me. I'm standing here because I've worked with the police department for 21 years and retired, with the military for 23 years, with five deployments. And I'm here retired. Thank you. So it works, all right? So this is for the future generation between 16 and, let's say, 20. You have no guidance on what you want to do. Join the military as an option. It'll change your horizon put you in a different uh, perspective of life. And this, again, will open up so many other doors. If you're going for a job interview, and let's say Mataji here is doing the interview, and her son was in the military, and here's a civilian with no military experience, guess what application she's gonna take? From the military, right? And again, there's so many little benefits that comes with it. So, it's a way. But again, like I said, it works for me. Just like uh, the preaching today, Lord Ganesha is often called upon in the beginning of a new venture or a journey and symbolize the removal of obstacles and new beginnings. Thank you everyone for getting home safely. Thank you, Detective Dave, for that beautiful and most divine presentation. A message for all the youths. The first 25 years of, in your life, is the Brahmacharya stage, and that stage should use for your education, and that is the foundation of your life, which will take you to the fountain of your future. So thank you very much, Dave, for that beautiful message to all of us. Nevertheless, we are all gonna become the best because we are here in the West. So please come and join with us, night after night, to come and enjoy this great blessing from Bhagavan Sri Ganesha. Join us tomorrow evening again for another divine discourse which will deliver from one of our young pandit from Trimurti Temple, Pandaji Raj, he's sitting there next to the elephant. So please come and support him and give him your love and give him your support at this time. So with that said, Bojan is prepared for all of you. Please partake, please come and take your arti, your prasad and your Bojan. Mangala Murti! Kaina Pati Papa! Jai Bolo Gajananang Bhagavan Ki! Jai